Hey YouTube, what is up? So today in this video, I will be talking about the laser cut sumo bot I have designed. So with my other sumo bot, it was 3D printed. The major advantages for laser cutting it in this case is, well, it is hot glued together and it probably takes about maybe 10 minutes to just assemble. And it takes even less time to get it programmed because I have working code for this thing. So basically all you need to do is assemble it, program it, it should all be done in like 20 minutes. If you follow the instructions I've written for this successfully, which they are not posted online yet. So this robot is basically run off of not sure how well you can see this. Some 18650 batteries. It uses an Arduino uh, Nano with a GPIO board. It also uses a little switch, which let me flip this around. Oh, that's weird. You can't really, it looks inverted for whatever reason. Don't know why, but anyways, it also uses some DC motors to drive it, to power the robot, I mean, move the robot, you get what I mean. It also uses a ultrasonic sensor to detect other robots, which unlike my other robot, this bot actually detects other robots and tries attacking them based off of their position that it can see. You will see this in some of the videos I posted about this, like there's a video I did where it was attacking a taco box, which was pretty cool to be honest, that it apparently doesn't like tacos. And this robot can actually see other bots. Unfortunately, it's not a very torquey bot, which is why this is not a permanent design because the motors on this are not very powerful. They can barely push a can of tomatoes. So that's not good. I'm gonna have to redesign it for other motors. But feel free to enjoy some of the fun I had with this bot. I'll post some videos in this video of what this bot is capable of doing. Thank you for watching and bye.